Hey everybody and welcome to another video. My name is Scary Spikes and today we're doing another hardware unboxing and in this case it's going to be the F16C Viper add-on grip from Thrustmaster. So stay tuned. The very first thing that we are presented with is just this beautiful nice big black box. Giggity. <laughs> And we just have some nice writing on the front there. As I mentioned, if you happen to have a Cougar or a Warthog base from Thrustmaster, this is going to work no problem. If you are like me and you happen to have a base from Verbal Controls, either the Mongoose or the Warbird bases will also work with these. And that also includes their Warthog stick and their F-A-18C Hornet sticks. Comments down below if you want to see videos on those. Let's go ahead and pop this open. So we have a really nice presentation on the inside. But as you can see there, We've got some nice documentation inside. So let's go ahead and get rid of this. We'll save that for the bathroom reading and move on to the piece de resistance. We have a little bit of foam here, which is always nice. It's a little thin piece of foam, but just adds to the presentation in general. All right, so that's the inside of the box. Not a whole lot left going on there. So we'll just go ahead and leave that there. So this is it. It's a one-to-one -one representation of the stick found inside the F-16C Viper or Fighting Falcon as it's otherwise known. And uh, it's a really, really good replica. It's uh, really well made. Like I said, it's got a really good weight to it. So it really does feel solid in the hands, predominantly metal. And uh, some of the buttons and switches uh, are plastic. So we'll start at the very top here. Looks like we have the weapon release button. That's gonna be your red button here. Now this is a pretty strong spring in here. So you really have to want to drop that bomb for that to work. Uh, but that's actually pretty nice. It's uh, gonna limit the accidental releases that you're going to have. Giggity, question mark. <laughs> and that's uh, gonna allow you to uh, really be precise with your ordinance. Uh, uh, to the right of that, we have our trim switch. So we have a nose down and a nose up as well as left wing down and uh, right wing down. And this one is uh, pretty nice. There's no depress on it, obviously, because it's just a trim switch, um, but that's really, really nice. This does feel like a four way switch, but I might be wrong on that. If you can correct me, do so in the comments down below. And we have uh, a few switches here. We have our TMS. This is our target management switch. And this is again, just a four-way switch up, down, left and right, no depress. And then we have a DMS or display management switch. And this is kind of like a castle switch. You do have some, you can probably see some uh, indents here and that makes it pretty easy as well. This does also feel like a four-way switch. Right uh, over here, uh, we have another button on the corner. I'm not 100% sure what this does, uh, but I'm pretty sure it's mapped in my DCS somewhere for my F-16. I just haven't flown it in quite a while. Over here on the left-hand side, we have our countermeasure uh, sort of little rocker here. So we have forward, back, left, and right. And uh, there is a depress on this one, which is really quite nice. Right, on the very front here, we have uh, a little button and a paddle switch. And what I should let you know about the paddle switch is this is just a digital paddle switch. As you can see, there's actually a button right there. And so the paddle switch is only gonna be depressing a button, um, but that is definitely nice to have there. I would have preferred for this to be, at least for this recreation, uh, to be an analog, sort of just an axis back and forward, like I have on my Constellation, but uh, we'll make do with this, that's absolutely fine. We do also have a pickle switch down here. Um, this is probably gonna be, I'm not sure if that's for uh, nose wheel steering, I believe, um, but I could be wrong. And then of course we have our main trigger. This is gonna be a two stage trigger. So in and in. Now the pull on the second stage is significantly heavier than that on the first stage, but I'll let you listen to this one more time in the front of the camera and then I'll move it closer to my mic so you can hear it there. That's the first stage. That's uh, the second stage. And I'll move this closer to my microphone so you can hear what that sounds like. So there's definitely an audible click when you're pressing in uh, for both stages, but there is an audible click, uh, slightly less audible, but you can still hear it on the way out. So very interesting. And uh, on the very bottom, we do also have our mount. Now, like I said, this is gonna fit into the Cougar, into the uh, Thrustmaster Cougar and the Warthog as well as the Verbal Controls. Uh, I believe it's the Warbird and the Mongoose. And uh, unfortunately, there's no twist on this, so you won't be able to use this for twisting like this to control your yaw or your nose wheel steering. Now, because this is a one-to-one -one replica, that's totally okay. 
and, uh, and I understand why they did that. Although for some people like myself who don't have a whole lot of space, it definitely would have been nice to have the option for a twist. I know that I have the option on my Constellation Alpha, uh, and unfortunately on this particular one, I don't have that option. So if you're buying this, you're definitely going to need some rudder pedals. So what's my final impression of the F-16C Viper Grip from Thrustmaster? Well, I think it's a very, very well-made product. It's got a lot of good weight to it. The materials that are being used are absolutely fantastic. We've got really high quality ABS mixed with really nice, dense feeling metals. The collar here on the bottom feels really good. Honestly, I think you'd really have to put this thing through absolute hell in order to be able to break it. And I think even then you'd be given a bit of a run for your money. Now there is only one gripe that I have with the stick and really it's not with the stick. It's really just with myself. I've got these gigantic meaty fingers and big hands. And honestly, it does kind of make the stick feel a little bit constricted when I'm holding it. Now, that being said, I can still reach all of the controls fairly easily, and that's not a problem for me. But uh, if you have gigantic fingers and hands like me, then you would potentially be looking at maybe getting a different stick. I'd recommend the Thrustmaster F-18C Hornet stick. It is a little bit bigger. It does have a bit of a curved top as well. And uh, that does feel really nice. It is a little bit larger. And then of course you can use a Constellation like I have from Verpal Controls with a Warbird base uh, or potentially even a Thrustmaster base. Although I'm not sure about that backwards compatibility there. That being said, overall, I think um, the price and performance here is very adequately matched. And I think I would recommend this to anybody who really enjoys flying their Viper, especially in DCS. And uh, go ahead and pick this one up. It definitely gets a big thumbs up from me. Speaking of thumbs up though, if you found this video helpful, enjoyable in any way, please do let me and YouTube know by smashing that like button down below. And of course, making sure to become a subscriber on the channel with notifications turned on so that you never miss any of my future videos. I'm planning on doing more hardware unboxings like this. So please let me know in the comments if you found this helpful or if there's something I could have done better. A huge, huge thank you to all of my wonderful channel members and patrons for helping to support me directly and helping to keep the lights on here in the studio. If that's something that you'd like to consider to do, then please accept my thanks. And there are some links down in the description below for Patreon, as well as memberships right here on YouTube, which really go a long way to help me out. Thank you so much for watching, everybody, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye for now. Tito couldn't wait.